Welcome back. Now, with today's technology, sometimes it can be difficult to separate life inside and outside the office. Is it ever possible to really achieve work-life balance? Yes, the question we're all asking. Executive coach Amanda Cahar O'Donnell of TIO Consulting Limited is here to tell us how we can get it all right. Good morning to you. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Um, it is a question um, I find women are asked possibly more than yeah. men. Would you agree with that, That'd be Simon? fair. Yeah, that'd be fair. Um, and I think we're all trying to get it right, and I feel sometimes we do. Personally, sometimes I do. Sometimes I get it absolutely not. Um, so I think... We're all striving for this perfection, aren't we? That's absolutely right. And if I could start off with a little story that puts this all in context. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you can picture the scene, for me, you know, things were going fantastic. I was running up the corporate ladder. Life was absolutely wonderful. It actually couldn't be better. And then, 14 years ago, my world just turned absolutely upside down. I just couldn't believe what happened to me. So I, my son was born, um, Connor, and Connor had Down syndrome mm -hmm. and a serious heart condition. And it was just wow. unbelievable. It absolutely threw everything into turmoil. I hadn't anticipated this, obviously. Who does mm -hmm. anticipate something like that? No, it's not something you can plan for. It's absolutely you not something you can situation. plan for. And I really had to stand back and weigh up everything at that point. Like, if you can imagine yourselves, yeah. you well, know. Well, that shifts your whole perspective on life, Absolutely. doesn't it? Absolutely. So really, I had to stand back and say, OK, you know, am I going to continue on this path? Like, mm. this was the path that was laid out. Or am I going to, ha how do I actually put all of this together? How do you balance it? How do yeah. you balance it? That was the question. So I had, I had to do a lot of soul searching. Yeah. Two years on, I decided, OK, I'm going to step out of this corporate game. And, you know, I still wanted to keep my career going. That was a real mm. challenge. So what I decided to do was, OK, let's try and do both. Let's try and find that elusive work-life balance. Mm -hmm. And that is what I've actually managed to do. So I set up my own business to work around whatever appointments were required. So basically, I'm my own boss and I've managed to integrate it all together. It's not easy, though, as you said, no. Anna, because, you know, some days, you know, like everybody else, you know, there is no perfection. There's no perfect answer. But Anna, you've managed to make it work for you and your absolutely. family and your life and your career. Absolutely. And I think that's the challenge. It's different for every individual. Mm. And I work with a lot of individuals. I coach them. And the big thing for individuals is being able to work this out for themselves, for their family and for their situation. Because every situation is different and every day is different. Mm. Totally. So the best laid plans can go out the window if something takes you off on a different route. Absolutely. And it's funny because, you know, the people that I work with, you know, now that I help and, and help them achieve work-life balance for themselves, you know, each individual is different, as you say. But things can change on a day-to-day -day basis. Anything can come in left yeah. of centre. You know, it's funny, we were talking about rugby this morning. Mm. You know, life throws you some curveballs. Mm -hmm. And what are you going to do? You catch it and run with so it. So for locally. anyone yeah, yeah. that yeah. comes to you, Amanda, um, they're all looking for different things. They're Absolutely. all in different places. Yeah. So it's, it's very much a bespoke service you're giving to a client, I'd imagine. But there is a number of questions that you're going to start with, I suppose. And That's the first right. one is the end game. Yeah. So I've discovered this myself and I really want to share this with other people. You know, you can make life a little bit easier. So the first thing is figuring out where do you actually want to be? Mm. Now, it's a question we all try to avoid, myself included. So what I do with people is try and figure out 10 years from now, what does success look like there? So if you think about this yourself, Simon, and mm -hmm. you're thinking, OK, where do I want to be? What do I want to have achieved? You know, what are my monetary objectives? Getting really specific. Mm. OK. And then work it back from there. Work it back from and there. Create your plan. That's yeah. right, but what happens is <clears throat> people get stuck on the how. How can I do this? Yeah, yeah. And if you get stuck on how, you're never going to get off. You're never <clears throat> going to set off in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Something else that you talk about as well as core values. You say identify and prioritise your own core values. Yeah. Explain that for us. OK, this was a light bulb moment for me. Mm. And again, a lot of clients, and you mentioned women, Anna, especially for women. So the top two values most of us are... are trying to work around our family, yeah. mm. you know, and career. So how do we actually keep all this going? Like, you know, but one of the things I've discovered is you have to decide to give yourself some peace of mind. 
you know, which, which is first, which comes first. Mm -hmm. And when you figure that out, you stop trying, you actually learn how to be where you are. If you haven't done that, you're in work thinking about home and you're at home thinking, thinking about, about work. work. So and, you're never and, where and you, you are. And you're always guilty regardless. Exactly. Yeah. And that is a particularly female phenomenon. Mm -hmm. We're brilliant at guilt. We are, aren't we? Um, well, men, men are fairly good at it too, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. actually that's one of the things that Karen Costra's uh, documentary right, threw yeah. up and, right. and got everyone talking about, which was mummy guilt. Yes. Um, and I think more females suffer it, but you mm -hmm. had made the point that certainly you would oh, feel it as well. Yeah, 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 of course you would, yeah. And actually, that's one of the things. So if you've got this figured out, you know, sometimes people... Actually, this woman came up to me this week and she said, you know, she'd been on one of my leadership workshops and she said, I finally figured it out. So here I am at work. I'm working really hard. She'd been worrying about home the whole time while she was in work. Mm -hmm. She said, but I have to work. Exactly. They're, mm -hmm. they're not going... The children are not, go not going to have what they need if I don't work. So that gives her peace it's of mind. It's a necessity rather than so choice. So one is dependent That's on it. the other. That's it. Is it okay, Amanda? And I'm just asking this from a, from a personal mm. point of view, but I'd imagine there's plenty of people who want the answer as well, that some weeks it's more about work and that, that can take over. Absolutely. And then other weeks it's more about family. Mm. Absolutely. And, and, I think and you just hope across the year that there's an average, there's out. some kind of balance. Totally. And the other thing that we haven't mentioned here is, you know, for a lot of people, you're in, say, dual career couples. And also between a couple, you can figure out how are you going to achieve balance? Mm. Yeah. I was actually really interesting. I was talking to a woman just before I came in here today. It's so relevant to everyone. Everyone's interested in work-life balance. And she was saying to me, you know, at home, we have pink tasks and we have blue tasks. You know, yes, yeah, very good. And she said, "Let's just make this simple." Yeah. So color coding, color depending coding, depending on urgency. Yes, go. absolutely. It can work for us in here, actually, couldn't it? I want the pink ones. <laughs> <laughs> I want the pink ones, please. Uh, Amanda, you. you have lots of tips here, and we were never going to go get through the whole list, but it will, it will get people thinking. If you forget all else, come back to values. Yeah, What's core values. Amanda, core thank values. you for coming in. Yeah. lovely to see you. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you. Now, still to come, how this month's International Fashion Weeks will impact the Irish woman's wardrobe later in the year. Plus, we've got profiteroles in the kitchen. You're welcome. See you in three <laughs> minutes.